Having just looked at the difference between object mode and edit mode, let's now take a look at some mesh selection tools that we have within edit mode for working with our meshes. So I have here a female body base mesh as an example. So what I wanna do is I'll first select it to make sure that it's the active selection. I can then press tab to go into edit mode and then I'll just zoom in here to work on the face. And obviously with the mesh selection, we have our vertices, edges, and faces, just like I just showed you with object mode and edit mode and whatnot. So we know we have these basic selection tools, but let's look at some other essential ones such as edge loop select and face loop select and things like that. So first and foremost, let's look at the select menu. So down in the select menu, we see that we have all of our different edge or selection tools. So everything from edge rings to edge loops, vertex paths, linked, mirror, more, less, etc. So let's just take a couple of, or we'll just cherry pick a couple of these. For one, if we want to select an entire island, as is generally referred to in other applications, so an individual portion of the mesh, we can just hover over any portion of it and just press L and that will select anything that is connected to the element that is directly below your mouse cursor. So in this case, since I hover over one of the vertices in the shoulder and press L, it selects everything that's connected to that vertex. If I were to go into wireframe mode real quick, select this portion of the arm, and then just separate it apart, obviously this would now work as an individual island. So if I now deselect everything, which again is just A, same as it is in object mode, we could then hover over one of these parts, hit L, and it would select only that island, just as we would expect it to. But what if we wanted to select everything that was connected to our current selection for whatever reason? Well, if I then had, say, this vertex selected here, and I wanted to select everything that was connected to it, I can use a modified version of the select island, or select linked, as it, it's actually called in Blender, you can see under select and we have linked and I can choose control L will then allow me to select everything that is connected to the current selection. If I want to deselect everything that's connected to it, I can hit shift L and that will deselect anything that is currently selected or connected to the current selection. All right, so that is linked. So very common selection tool. Next, one of the most common ones, of course, is going to be edge loop selection. So edge loop selection works quite simply in Blender. Simply hold down the Alt key and right click on one of the edges pertaining to the edge loop you wish to select and it will select it. So if you just Alt right click on this loop in the arm, it will select that entire loop. If you Alt right click on another loop, it will change that current selection to the new loop. So if you want to add to the current selection, hold down Alt and Shift for adding and you can then add or click it again with Shift and Alt to remove. So Alt Shift will then allow you to add or remove loops to your current selection. If you wish to grow or subtract your current selection, you can simply hold down the control key and use the plus or minus keys on your numpad to grow or add the selection. You can also find grow and add or more or less via the select menu with more or less. All right, now let's look at edge rings and face loops. So if we wanted to select an edge ring, such as this or this entire face loop, I can hold down Control and Alt, and it will select that entire loop of faces. Now, this is a little confusing because this is actually the edge ring selection tool. But since we are in vertex mode, anything that is connected to that vertex will then inherently be selected. So even though I only wanna connect this edge and say this edge and all the edges you know, in this parallel direction or perpendicular direction, uh, I want to just select those. But since I'm in vertex mode, since this vertex is then connected to this vertex, these are inherently gonna select all the faces. So if we wanted to select just these edges, like this, this, and this, then I need to switch into edge mode and then I can hit Control Alt and it will select just those edges. We can also do the same thing by switching into face mode, and I can then select individual face loops by alt right clicking on one of the edges that is then perpendicular to the loop that I want to select. So that's the majority of the, the main selection tools that you're going to be needing. Just to recap on a few of the others, uh, remember that A is select all or deselect all. Right click is just our normal selection. Alt shift 
or shift right click allows us to add or remove from a selection. We then have the same as in object mode and edit mode or in object mode. We have control left click and drag for our lasso select, B and then left click and drag for our box select and C for our paint select, which while you're in paint select, you can also use your mouse wheel or the plus and minus keys on your number pad to then increase or decrease the radius of that selection circle. So those are the primary mesh selection tools. Uh, obviously there's quite a few more within here, such as selecting similar, selecting loose verts or edges, selecting by the number of verts, the side in the active selection, interior faces, etc. But those are all fairly self-explanatory and are not used nearly so often.